Hi friends, me again. So in this video, I wanted to share my perspectives around compassion. And I feel, especially in these times, but leading up to these times, possibly many of us haven't had much space for compassion, given possible what would be the word? Frictions, possible or just keep it at frictions for the moment with ourselves, with each other, with certain groups, with certain belief systems, etc. So what I've learned through different people in my life and through my experiences, whether as it was through uh, Iyana Van Zant, uh, Reverend Lydia, uh, Jody Mountain, um, even from people that I, I admire like Oprah Winfrey. Uh, funny enough, all four of those people are women. It's kind of interesting <laughs> so as I'm saying that. <laughs> um, what I found is that for one to be able to give compassion to others, they have to have given compassion to themselves because one of my major belief systems is for right now one cannot give what one doesn't have so if I don't give compassion towards myself and I'll get to what that means for me shortly then it's going to be really difficult for me to give compassion to other people let alone possibly a group of people so compassion for me in a few maybe two or three different definitions, is number one, holding the space for someone, for myself, or for a group of people to experience what they are experiencing as it is. Not wanting to change them, not wanting to shift their emotion or experience Again, every situation is different, of course. And compassion also means for me the ability to stay within myself, again, as providing this environment for them to experience what they're experiencing. And this is the, one of the key parts for me, void of judgment. Now, I feel that can be difficult for some people, depending on your own belief systems, your own ideas, your own upbringings, your own life experiences. So, again, compassion for me is to hold the space for myself, for someone else, or for a group of people in a container or an environment void of judgment. People are experiencing through the lenses of their own knowledge and awareness at each moment in time. You can't be aware of that which you're unaware of. You can't know what you don't know on one level, on one kauna, like in my favorite Hawaiian word. And that cannot be given to others unless I give it to myself. So if I find myself judging other people or groups of people for whatever reason, what I tend to do or what I do is I flip the mirror onto myself and I say, where do I judge myself in that way? And where has that judgment come on to me from other people? And where else have I judged other people? So, as we continue to go along this journey in the current times that we are in, if you were to be very honest with yourself, 
and see where you are judging or blaming other people or someone else for whatever you are feeling, then can you ask that question toward yourself? Where do you blame yourself? Where do you judge yourself? Where do you not hold the container and environment for yourself to experience what you are experiencing, to feel what you feel? Void of judgment. So I just wanted to share that perspective with you all. And I truly hope that you are safe, that you are healthy, and that you have the support that you need around you. And if you need any help from me, and if, and if I'm able to provide it for you, I'm more than happy to help, more than happy to talk, video chat, if you need someone to listen to or to talk to. I send much love to you all, and until next time.